We'll start by importing libraries we need. First, we need to import the OpenCV module. Import CV2. Now I'm going to import this hand tracking module that I built by myself. If you want me to make a dedicated video on explaining this code, comment down below. If I get 10 comments in this video, I'm going to make a dedicated video in which I will explain this code. For now, you will get the code in the description and I'm just importing in my handdetection.py code. So next we will set up our camera. So WCAM and HCAM will be equals to thousand and thousand cap is equals to CV2 dot capture sorry dot video capture zero. So here we are setting the width and the height of capture window to thousand and thousand by uh, pixel and initializing the video capture with cv2 dot video capture zero. So zero indicates the default camera which is my webcam. If you're using any external webcam you can change it to one or two uh, depending on which camera you are using. We are also initializing the hand detector from our hand detecting module. So I will say detector is equals to hand detecting module dot find hands and now we will enter the confidence uh, percentage so detection con will be 0 0.79 so the detection confidence is set to 79 percent meaning the model will detect a hand only if it's fairly confident that it sees one so I'm using this class right here find hands class in my hand uh, detection.py right here let's shrink this code and I'm going to say as htm so I don't have to write hand a uh, hand tracking module every time the hand the hand is represented by 21 points or landmarks and we need to connect these points to form a structure of the hand so now I will explain you with a picture right here is a labeled picture of the structure of a hand so each uh, each point is unique and predefined for example 0 will always go will always define the wrist here here you can see how this works so these are called the landmarks so now we need to define a list, the connection of each finger starting with thumb, index and middle ra ring and the little finger. So I have uh, copied a list here that I am going to use. So I will just paste it right here. So here you can see that if a connection of uh, is made of from 0, 1 and what then 1, 2, then 2, 3 and 3, 4. This means a thumb is detected. So I will explain you with the picture right here. So if a connection is made from 0, 1, 1, 2, and 2, 3, and then 3, 4, this means this is a thumb. Now we will enter the main loop. The camera will continuously capture frames and we will pass each frame to our hand detector to see if we can find any hands. If a hand is detected, it will return a list of landmarks basically the coordinates that we just talked about so let's write the loop so we're here we're using cap to treat function to read each frame so if you are not successful then we are going to get out of the loop so we are just going to break it but if we are we are going to return a list So this uh, this get position function is already defined in my 
hand tracking module the first parameter will be image So once the hand is detected, we are going to determine whether the hand is right or left. We are going to do this by comparing the x coordinate of two specific points, the knuckle of index finger and the pinky knuckle. So we are going to write if lm, it should be lm, it should not be lim. lm stand for landmark, landmark list. 5 0 This is the landmark position for index knuckle is greater than LM list of 17 0 This is the landmark position for the pinky knuckle So basically once let me complete the code, code then I'll explain so basically what is happening here always the distance between your wrist and the uh, knuckle of index finger is always greater than the distance between your wrist and the knuckle of index finger so that's what the simple thing we are doing right here and else hand type will be left now what we're going to do is going to check the thumbs position which differs based on whether it is the right or left hand then we will check if each of the other four finger is raised using the functions like index finger up and middle finger up etc. So before that first I'm going to define an empty list named finger. This list will store the status of each finger whether it is up or not. Now after that we're going to write if our hand type is equals to right then we're going to say fingers dot append one if lem list fourth and zero is greater than lem list third and zero else it will be zero now we're going to write the else block so here we'll say finger dot append one if lem list four and zero is greater than lem list three and zero and else it will be zero. So now we have to detect the other fingers using the functions like index finger up and other uh, functions like this which are all defined in hand tracking module.py. So finger dot append detector dot index finger up and we create other three two and three 
the index finger up this will be middle finger middle finger up and this will be ring finger and the last one will be little finger okay this all will take the argument image I'll do it like this okay we have written it two times let's erase it okay now it's good once we've detected which fingers are up we simply count how many of them are up using count one function we will store the total number of finger in total fingers variable so I will write total fingers equals finger dot count one now we will create a rectangle around the image of my, our hand so cv2 dot rectangle the first argument is the image now this is the second one the starting point this argument with our ending point and lastly our color of the box and right now I'm making it green And I will also say cv2 dot fill now we are going to do is create a green rectangle on the screen in which the total number of fingers will be displayed so cv2 dot put text first parameter again image and the text which should be displayed in it will be the total fingers and we will convert first the integer into string so str of total fingers Finally, we will draw circles at each landmark and connect them with lines to show the hand skeleton. We will loop through all the hand landmarks, drawing a red circle at each point. Then using the connections list from earlier, we connect the landmarks with green lines to form the skeleton of the hand. This code is just optional. It will just help to understand the code better. Without this piece of code, the program will work just fine. I have copied it here and I will just paste it right here. So when I tested this code, this it was showing some errors. So I added a few things here. The first thing was I forgot to add the weight key, so you had to add cv2 the weight dot weight key to one. And after that, the cv2.release and destroy all windows should be out of the while loop. And one more thing should be added here is this right here. We have to check that the length of lamb list should be greater than one, greater than zero. After that, all other procedures should take place. So you have to make sure this always should be written in the if statement where it is checking that the length of lamb list is greater than zero or is not zero by the way you will find all the code in the description below all the corrected version of the code both of hand tracking module.py and hand detection